it's almost week two of the Egg Seekers event. And when we woke up this morning, Gummy had dropped a lot of information on us. So let's get right to it. Starting this Friday, the 14th, the banner will be changed to Awakened Warriors. This is featuring Lightning, Mercedes, Seven, and Medius. So if you're missing any of these units from previous banners, now's your chance to pick them up again. But the big news is, enhancements are here, or as they call them, Ability Awakenings. They're starting off by giving you 10 units to enhance, but the only information they give you are on the 4 banner units. On Medius, the first ability you can enhance is Auto Limit. You will notice they quantitate the difference between unenhanced and enhanced with the words Great, High, Mid, and Low. This will help you decide on what enhancements you choose for each unit. Awakening 2 on Gun Master will allow Medius to equip two guns. Hyperfire will increase the damage, but at the expense of more MP. Seven's first ability is Elemental Ash. Awakening 1 will boost the damage, while Awakening 2 will boost Fire, Ice, and Lightning and decrease resistance. Her Osmo Slash becomes interesting because with Awakening 2, it becomes AoE. Both Awakenings for Yakabi will boost all elemental resistances. Mercedes now has the chance to boost the damage on her Axe Mastery. Her ability with the greatest difference is Sea King's Chop. Awakening 1 will boost the damage, while Awakening 2 will boost Water Resistance Reduction Amount. The second Awakening on Mercedes Warcry has also been given the rating of Great. Last up, we have Lightning, and the first ability she can enhance is Light Speed, which has a chance of evading magic. Area Blast has also been given a slight upgrade over its original form. If you were going to choose only one enhancement for Lightning, I would choose Crushing Blow. Lately, she's fallen behind other DPS in single target attacks. Enhancing this will go a long way in her staying with the pack. Choosing what abilities you're going to enhance on your units is going to take a lot of thought, because each ability requires specific materials and a lot of gill. But this is a great opportunity to customize your party the way you want to. And speaking of materials, these are the materials you're going to need to do the enhancements. You'll notice that the colors of the Alchris correspond with the color of the ability you're going to enhance. It appears these materials come in different sizes in the way that Crists and Mega Crists do. They are opening up the Chamber of Gems inside the Vortex, where you can get some of the lower level materials to do the Awakening abilities. However, they have stated that the more valuable materials to do the Awakenings will only be offered in their limited time events. Which is why you have to be very careful on what abilities you choose to enhance. For this event, you can get the more valuable materials from the Innkeeper during the second week. Shifting gears now, Ariana and her Dangerous Woman Tour are back. But it doesn't appear to be a new event. It looks like it's the same event as last time, offering the same gear. So if you're a new player, or just didn't have a chance to get her last time, now you can during the second week of this event. And if all that wasn't enough, they're offering a brand new trial boss this week. The trial consists of fighting both Dark Ifrit and Dark Siren. This trial is going to prove to be quite difficult. Mainly because both bosses have opposite elemental strengths and weaknesses. Besides preparing for elemental defenses, you're also going to have to defend against confusion just to add to the challenge. This trial boss has some really good rewards. Just for completing the trial, you'll get Ifrit's Claw, which is an accessory that has attack plus 30, HP plus 10%, Fire Resistance plus 20% and nullifies Blind. Also for completing the trial, you'll get 100 Lapis, but if you're able to evoke both Siren and Ifrit, you'll get a 5 star Trust Moogle. And possibly the hardest part about this trial is that if you're able to complete it without any allies being KO'd, you will get Large Sword Mastery, 
which is similar to Blade Mastery, but when you're using a greatsword. This ability people have waited a long time to be released on Global. And lastly, if you can clear the trial without using any items, you'll get Siren's Robe. It's a robe that has a defense plus 30, magic and spirit plus 40, and nullifies sleep and silence. I hope you found this video helpful and are as excited as I am to get the second week underway. Feel free to click on the subscribe button or the links to other Brinstar Media videos. 